Not that. Not that. Like, fuck this. Leviathan here, we know when you drive a supercar around the city, well, you get confronted with a lot of hate and negativity. So today, I'm gonna talk about my perspective on how you should deal with all of this hate. But before we begin, I'm actually gonna read some comments from some of my viewers to talk about how they would react to all of this negativity and hate. It may scare you. Dude, the first guy parking, I want to slash his throat open, drink his blood, eat his body, and use his soul as a fertilizer. Yikes. If I saw you touch my car, you would get a bitch slap. Then I would decide how to proceed from there. I wish someone spit on my car. I'd go to jail real quick. Man, you're such an effing coward. Get out of the car and show them a lesson, bruh. WTF. That girl who sat on the hood would get effed up. Leviathan, you have a tough body. Just give a punch to those who give bad comments. Damn man, the world is full of messed up people. But they know damn well if you got out of the car to confront them, they would be scared shitless. And based on those comments, you see that a lot of people would actually respond and engage in violence with all of these losers. But today, we are going to talk about how I handle a lot of this negativity and hate. So let's go for a cruise. So, as we've seen from the comments, a lot of people would have a very violent reaction to all the hate that comes their way. And as you've seen from my videos, well, I take the more calm and peaceful approach. Trust me, it's not easy to do, and it takes a lot of practice and self-control to prevent myself from actually getting pretty hostile towards these folks. We've all heard the phrase, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So, when I get all these hate, these negativity, all this friction coming my way, I like to believe that I'm actually doing something right. I feel when you get to a higher level, you're always gonna get confronted by all of that resistance. Everything just becomes a lot harder the higher up you go. So, whether it's internal or external, I think you're always gonna get this resistance. So my approach is just to completely ignore all of these haters. I'm not gonna feed the fire because I don't think it's actually gonna accomplish anything. The ultimate best thing that could possibly happen is that he becomes a better person, but with so much hate and anger towards others for, for no real reason, I highly doubt that one little experience is going to change him. So I'm of the opinion that no matter what I do, he's just going to continue to be a complete loser. And it's definitely not worth my time, because I also have so much to risk. I definitely don't want to expose myself to that risk over no real best case scenario there's really nothing to gain from confronting him and unfortunately this is a mentality for so many people i'm driving around minding my own business and i get spat on people start shouting at me it's, it's absurd but i'm definitely not going to change these people's mentality by punching through everything so that's not how i solve my problems and i really think it's a good skill to practice because you're gonna get faced by this. Forget the whole supercar experience. No matter what you do, if you excel at something, you're just gonna be faced with a lot more resistance. I can come up with a hundred different examples. Let's take the gym. Once you start hitting your genetic potential, well, progressing will become even harder. And of course, you're gonna get confronted by people who think that you, you cheat or you use substances to take you to the next level. It's, it's expected. They're just looking for an excuse. Same thing, another hobby of mine is kiteboarding and when you're trying to challenge yourself, if you're trying more advanced tricks, well, it's going to get harder and harder the higher you progress. No matter what you do, if you do it well, you are going to be confronted with that opposite reaction. And it just really comes down to how you deal with it. When I was younger, you know I wasn't the most popular kid in school and in fact I'd actually get picked on. What did I do about it? Well, I started taking self-defense classes, I was boxing, 
pretty seriously for quite a few years and of course I started going to the gym. In the end, I used all of that negativity, all of that anger and bullying that was directed my way and became a better person out of it. It gave me so much structure and so much discipline in my life and I'm actually grateful for it because without some of that negativity, I don't think I'd have become the person I am today. Trust me, it is part of life no matter what you do and if you do it well, it's harder to progress, so you just get used to the fact that you're gonna get a lot of resistance the higher you go, and that's how I view it. People will always try and put you down. It's a sad reality of things, but it really comes down to how strong you are and how you wanna use this negativity. So there you have it. That is just my perspective. Curious to know if you agree or disagree. How would you handle all of the hate that comes your way? Thanks for watching. Until next time.